Hi everyone, how's it going? So today we will be working on number 20 in chapter 7.2 and we are asked to use substitution to find an integral. Okay, so let's get started. So first of all, we have to do what we need to do, which is to write down the, the question, which is the integral of 1 over the square root of 9 minus 4x squared dx. And the person who wrote this book was being really nice because we're given a little hint, which is x equals 3 over 2 sine t. And so let's go ahead and differentiate x because it'll be in use later on. So dx will be equals to 3 over 2 cosine t, dt. And let's get ahead of the game and make t as the subject because we will be using that later. So t will be equals to 2 over 3x, um, excuse me, t will be equals, um, so, okay, there we are. Sine t will be equals to 2 over 3x, and t will be equals to arc sine 2 over 3x. Trust me, we will be using this later. Okay, so let's substitute what we're given for x, and our second step will be the integral of 1 over 9 minus 4 times what we got right here, which is 3 over 2 sine t squared, let's make this longer, and instead of writing dx, we will be writing this chunk. So it'll be two, 3 over 2 cosine t dt. So let's clean the second step up a little bit and we'll get the integral of 1 over square root of 9 minus and let's do this part outside so we can sort of skip a step and we will get 4 times 9 over 4 sine squared t and if we multiply the 4 in we will only we will get only 9 sine squared t. And let's bring this part out to here and copy the cosine t back and the dt. So are we good here? So the next step we get is 3 over 2 times the integral of 1 over square root of 9 minus 9 sine um, I apologize. So let's take this part out. Let's factorize this part. And we will get 1 over the square root of 9 times the integral of 1 over the square root of 1 minus sine squared t times cosine t dt. So let's simplify this part. And it's basically 3, and then if we multiply them together, we will get 1 half times the integral of 1 over. So as you can remember this part is cosine squared t plus sine squared t equals to 1. This is our identity. And so cosine squared t will be equals to 1 minus sine squared t. And so if we s can recall this identity, then we can say that 1 minus sine squared t is equals to cosine squared t times cosine t dt. So let's further simplify this, and we will get 1 over the square root of cosine squared t, which will be cosine t, simply cosine t, times cosine t dt. And so if we eliminate these two cosine t, we will get 1 half times the integral of 1 dt. And we will get 1 half times, times t plus c. Don't forget the plus c. It is very, very important. We're almost there. So remember 
we first jumped ahead and we find that t is equals to arc sine of 2 over 3x and let's copy this part to down below. So t is equals to this part and plus c. So we're done. Congrats. So this is the answer we get. Thank you so much for watching.